American Spy, 2019, the debut novel by American author Lauren Wilkinson, delves into the life of FBI agent Marie Mitchell, an African-American woman caught in the web of bureaucracy and antiquated power dynamics within her job. When the agency presents her with an opportunity to take down Thomas Sankara, the revolutionary president of Burkina Faso, she accepts, unaware that this decision will forever transform her life and her perception of her country. The novel received widespread acclaim, including a nomination for the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Literary Work by a debut author, a place on the shortlist for the Center for Fiction's First Novel Prize, and a coveted spot on former President Barack Obama's summer reading list. It was also recognized as one of the best books of the year by esteemed publications such as the New York Times Book Review and Entertainment Weekly. The story begins in 1992, with Marie Mitchell apprehending and killing an unidentified intruder who breaks into her Connecticut home, where she lives with her four-year-old twins. Recently resigning from her long-held position at the FBI, Marie fears that the incident with the intruder might attract further retaliation from the numerous adversaries she acquired during her previous job. To protect herself and her sons, she relocates to Martinique. It is there that she embarks on documenting her experiences at the FBI, ensuring that her sons will one day comprehend the reasons behind her actions. Marie's upbringing in New York City unfolds, with her older sister, Helene, their mother, Agaf, and their father, a police officer. Helene's enigmatic death later haunts Marie, who had aspired to become a spy like her sister and subsequently joins the military after high school. From 1983 to 1987, Marie finds herself working for the FBI, initially tasked with managing the paperwork of her insufferable boss, Rick Gold. In 1987, Ed Ross from the CIA approaches her with a request to monitor President Sankara during his imminent visit to the United Nations. Initially reluctant to accept the assignment, Marie Mitchell finds herself pressured by Ed Ross to seduce President Sankara of Burkina Faso in order to extract his secrets. Despite her reservations, Marie eventually agrees under the weight of the circumstances. Disguised as Sankara's UN guide, she accompanies him throughout New York City, even bringing him to her home in Harlem. Witnessing his genuine concern for his people and his commitment to ending apartheid, Marie begins to develop a connection with him. As they spend more time together, she opens up about her own political beliefs and her family. While Marie successfully obtains the intelligence the agency desires, she refuses to engage in the seduction plan, which angers Ross and Gold. Seizing an opportunity to remove her from the picture, Gold suspends Marie for a minor administrative mistake unrelated to the mission. With her newfound freedom, Ross, swallowing his pride, approaches Marie once again and seeks her assistance. He wants her to continue infiltrating Sankara's inner circle by traveling to Burkina Faso, Reluctantly, Marie agrees, driven partly by the prospect of meeting Daniel Slater, Helene's former boyfriend who resides there. Upon arriving in Burkina Faso, Marie maintains her relationship with Sankara. However, her mission takes an unexpected turn when Slater reveals two significant revelations. First, Marie learns that she is not operating on behalf of the CIA, but rather a private company owned by Ross and Slater themselves. Second, she discovers that Helene died in a car accident shortly after marrying Slater in Las Vegas. These revelations completely alter the course of Marie's mission. As Slater provides Marie with poison and orders her to assassinate Sankara during an upcoming event for a Ghanaian wildlife refuge, Marie's perspective begins to shift. She witnesses firsthand the positive impact Sankara has on his country and finds herself aligning with his ideals. In Ghana, she decides to confide in Sankara, exposing the ulterior motives of Ross and Slater and their desire to profit from establishing U.S. military bases in the country. Marie and Sankara share a night together, leading to the conception of her twin children. Later on, Marie and Sankara return to Burkina Faso, where Marie takes matters into her own hands. Sneaking into Slater's residence, she eliminates him. However, this action triggers a response from Slater's girlfriend, who contacts the police. Marie finds herself being pursued through the town, but she manages to escape on her motorbike and seeks refuge in the wilderness. Stranded in the desert without fuel, Marie receives assistance from a kind stranger who guides her to a nearby village. There, the locals offer her nourishment and support. 
With her motorcycle refueled, she continues her journey to Ghana and boards a plane, first to Europe and then to Martinique. Back in Martinique, Marie finds solace and safety with her mother, Agaf, and gives birth to her twin children. Despite the ongoing threats from Ross, she eventually makes the decision to relocate to Connecticut with her boys. However, Marie realizes that there is one last task she must undertake to truly sever ties with her past. She entrusts her children to Agaf's care and returns to the United States alone, determined to exact revenge on Ross and bring closure to her tumultuous history once and for all. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.